One, two, three, four. Healthy snacks on the go, dancing at the studio, fueling our bodies the right way. Energy for exercise, feeling good, you'll be surprised. Food to go with Steph and Roe. High five. <laughs> Welcome to Food Not To Go. This week's tasty meal is called Broccoli and... Not, not cheese. cheese. The ingredients you'll need are one head of broccoli, dried mustard, turmeric, whole wheat flour, nutritional yeast, garlic, olive oil, and soy milk. The tools you'll need are a pot with a lid that also has a steaming basket, a smaller pot, a sharp knife, a tablespoon, and a cutting board. Uh, and a measuring cup also, if we might be totally honest. I appreciate your honesty. Thanks. <laughs> All right, this is also one of my favorite recipes. As I've mentioned, probably too much. I, I've always had a soft spot for cheese, but try not to eat cheese because it's not healthy. I don't like cheese. <clears throat> yeah, she's like, I wish I didn't like cheese. Yeah, but I do. Apathetic. So broccoli and not cheese is actually a great cheese alternative. And I've always been wary of fake cheeses, but this one you make your own and it's got a really great kind of nutty flavor to it that I enjoy. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'm excited. It also, it seems like it's going to be hard to make, but it's really easy. It does seem hard. So the first thing we did, we've already actually pre-boiled our water, so we're ready to steam our broccoli. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. You'll steam it for five minutes, tops. If you need to remember how to do that, you can look up our broccoli and peanut sauce recipe, and that will teach you a little bit closer how to, with the details about how to steam broccoli. Yeah. So then we're going to make our cheese sauce. This is nutritional yeast, and nutritional yeast is awesome because it has uh, vitamin B12 in it, uh, which is hard to get. Uh, it is hard to get. It's, I know you always want to move things away from me, I do. but I'm still using them. I like to clean up, everybody. Yeah, uh, so that was like a third of a cup of nutritional yeast packed with vitamin B12, which yes. is hard to get uh, for everyone because it, it's in the soil, but yep. since we started um, using pesticides and things it, like that in our soil, it's not actually in our soil. It killed it all. So, so we have to eat things that are fortified with B12, and nutritional yeast is one of those items. Is it fortified? I thought it was just in it. Oh, I believe it's fortified, but okay. hey, let's get up and send us the info. Yeah, let us know. We're going to put a cap full of olive oil. I love like how those. you use the cap to measure because you don't have to get anything else dirty. Uh, we're going to use a tablespoon of whole wheat flour. Feel free to do that for me. I would love to. Um, we're going to use a little bit of turmeric. It calls for like a teaspoon. But turmeric? Turmeric? Uh, I say turmeric. I don't know if that's correct. I don't know. Um, but it adds a nice sort of yellowy color and a little extra flavor. Um, I'm going to put maybe just a smidge in more. And then also I'm going to add a touch of mustard. And then, do you want to add a tablespoon of um, garlic for me? I do. Yeah. Can I stick the tablespoon directly in the sure. garlic? Yeah. Even if it has a little bit of flour in it? Sure. Okay. We live on the edge here at Food To Go. <laughs> yes, we do. I am edgy, I might add. She is edgy. She lives on the edge. Okay. Uh, so I, we stir this all up, and then we are going to put it on the burner for about five minutes as well. What kind of heat? Low, medium, high? Uh, um, medium, high. Medium, high heat. And you're gonna wait till it um, just barely gets to a boil. Okay. And then you'll turn it down so that it stops boiling. Okay. And then it'll actually thicken up a little bit. Great. And then once it is thickened up, you turn it off and let it sit for a couple of minutes. Okay. And then it's done. <gasps> awesome. Now this recipe takes under 30 minutes, and we know that because we got it from a book called... Oh, The 30 Minute Vegan. <laughs> Thank you. It actually should be called The 10 Minute Vegan because uh -huh. this actually really only takes 10 minutes, which is why it's a go-to meal for me. Uh, it's pretty yeah. awesome. We are fast and lazy, I tell you. <laughs> But still healthy. Sounded like I said fat and lazy. I don't think we're fat and lazy. But, but I mean, if we were fast and lazy, we would go through the McDonald's drive through Ah, uh, we are fast and healthy. We're talking about making broccoli and not cheese. So we're actually like fast and healthy. And you know why we're talking about broccoli? Actually, it's because of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, folate. Also, it has anti-inflammatory properties. And if you are someone who really moves your body at all. You don't even have to be someone who works out. You want to make sure that there's not any swelling going on in your body. And this broccoli is anti-inflammatory properties. And, well, related, but also omega-3 fatty acids. Only a small amount. It's not a huge source. But if you eat enough fruits and vegetables that have omega-3s in them, you're getting a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Yeah, you are. And then we also, we use soy milk, 
which uh, you want to make sure you get non-GMO. GMO, so not genetically modified, absolutely. Uh, but soybeans, soy milk, it can be a really great source of protein as well as calcium. I knew she was going to say that. Yeah, that's my go-to knowledge. All right, so after a few minutes of steaming your broccoli and waiting for your not cheese sauce to thicken, you just mix them right up and it's ready to enjoy. This could either be a side dish or <clears throat> I like to make it like my main meal. So I use it a few different ways. Number one, I put it on a bed of quinoa. Mm. Number two, I put it on a bed of couscous. Number three, I put on a baked potato. It's actually my favorite way. Ooh. And if you're like, Rochelle, I'm not sure actually how to make a baked potato. <laughs> To you, I say, don't you worry. <laughs> There's a baked potato episode coming your way. Absolutely. I'll point at you with my broccoli. Check it out. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Have a healthy week. <laughs>